Hello and welcome to Programming Dash. Today we will see how to apply the towers of Hanoi algorithm in C programming. So basically, in the towers of Hanoi, what we do, we have to transfer some given disk in ascending order in the A shelf uh, or A rod or A tower to the C tower in the same ascending order. None of the uh, smaller disk should be below the bigger disk and for this we are provided with an another auxiliary tower where we can which we can use to transfer the disk so we will move with the algorithm written here first of all we will move the top n minus 1 disk from the source tower to the auxiliary tower the auxiliary tower is in between the from tower and the two tower that is from the A tower to the C tower if you say the first tower is A the middle one is B which is the auxiliary tower and the last one is C the destination tower and the A is the source tower then we move the nth disk the last disk from the source to the destination tower then we move the n minus 1 disk from the auxiliary tower to the destination tower. Now we have to keep in mind that we cannot transfer more than one disk at a time but we will use recursion algorithm to transfer this one by one and we will solve this program using recursion and it won't be very difficult. But we have to keep in mind and it is a very interesting thing that while transferring the top n minus 1 disks, it is again a fresh problem when we use recursion and for that it will again become n minus 1 that is that means that if we say 4 disks it will become 3, 2, 1 eventually. So let's begin applying our algorithm here. So first of all we will construct a function that will return nothing, name it as towers of Hanoi and we will provide it where int n the number of disk we have then the character that is the from tower then the to tower and the auxiliary tower and we are using this because we have to keep the record sorry the naming will be to tower and now first of all we have a check that if n is equals to equals to 1 we have to print that move the move disk 1 from percentage C tower to percentage C sorry percentage C tower and here we will provide the from tower and to tower and we will return nothing but we have to read return to terminate the program else what we will do first of all we will call again the towers of Hanoi recursively and here it will be towers n minus 1 and then what we will do we will implement this line move the top n minus 1 disk from the source to the auxiliary tower so it will become from tower and we will pass it for the two tower the auxiliary tower that is auxiliary tower and in this case the auxiliary tower will be nothing but the two tower it might sound that what i am saying difficult but if we see that the output it will become more easy let us copy and paste this line because it is same only one change will be there and i will do that that is percentage d and have we will write n everything is same and now 
now after moving the nth disk this is line for the moving the nth disk the nth disk from the source to the destination tower we have done that and now we have to transfer the top n minus 1 disk from the source to the auxiliary tower that is we are given the from here to means from source to auxiliary that is we are transferring from auxiliary tower to source tower i from source tower to auxiliary tower i think this is uh, not difficult for you to understand that what i am saying so i have to write okay, sorry towers of hanan will pass n minus 1 days we have to pass the so n minus this from source that is from source to auxiliary tower okay so what we'll write here here we'll write auxiliary here why because we need to transfer the source to auxiliary tower again in order to maintain that write it and then from tower okay now let us compile our program so we need to let us write only for one comma and for this case that we can see that what is the output i have provided these lines so i want to move the disk from tower a to tower c using the tower b and here I want to move the everything to auxiliary tower from the this tower. Okay. I think the lines were easy to understand. Here we have transferred from the auxiliary tower and to the destination tower. I think this was easy to understand because I have written whole the program and you will also get the code in the description. So make sure you check it there. So let us let me write the problem here. Uh, now, okay, the output is move disk one from tower A to tower C tower. So it was very easy. Now let's increase it to two. Now compile it again. You can make it user input also. That's not a big problem. Let us do that only. Okay, so let us compile it again. Uh, enter the number of days. I want to move disk one from the tower A to the tower B, that is the auxiliary tower, and now move the disk two from tower A to tower C, that the bigger disk, and now move the disk one from tower B to C, which was in B to C. So you see, can see that how well the program, the recursion program, is written because we, it is the right algorithm that we are getting the right way to approach it let's say for three the output will be bigger so i'm maximizing my output a uh, output screen and now let's see the output move disk one from tower a to c move disk two from tower a to b move disk one from c to b move disk three from a to c now move disk one b to a now move disk two from b to c and move disk one from a to c it took 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so many lines. So this is a bit uh, for 3 only it is printing so many lines but this is the only algorithm to transfer the towers. I think you have understood how the program is implemented. If you want the code, the code will be in the description. So please make sure you see it. I will provide the github link also. Don't worry. If you like the video, please like the video, subscribe the channel Programming Rush and see you in the next video. Thank you.